Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. Uh, let's go ahead and open up uh, your web browser to my website, javacjava.com, select Java Tutorials. I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way down here to the Big Integer Basic Math Methods. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss the Add, Subtract, Multiply, and Divide methods. Now, the basic arithmetic operators, the plus sign, the minus sign, the times, and the divide do not work with the Big Integer objects. Now, because you are working with immutable objects, you must invoke methods on a Big Integer object in order to get back a reference to a new big integer object containing the result. Now just a heads up, the divide method should be should rarely if ever be used. I will discuss the reason and the why in the video. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first things first, we'll just come down here and highlight the source code and we'll copy it. Move the browser off screen here. I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you create one really fast by right clicking, selecting new shortcut. CMD next and finish. It's just that easy. Let's open that up. First thing you want to do is type in Java C. You should see all this stuff scroll by. However, if you receive an error message, be sure to watch my tutorials on installing and configuring the Java development kit before you continue. CLS to clear the screen. CD space backslash. CD is short for change directory. Backslash tells it to go to the root. We're going to make a directory here called Java. Now I already have one, but if you don't, it'll create it for you. We'll change directories to the Java folder. And now I'm going to make another directory here called uh, BI, Big Integer uh, Basic Math. And we'll change directories to that folder. And I'm going to notepad BI uh, Basic Math.java. Okay. Now uh, it opened up in my other screen for some reason. But anyway, bring that over. And let's go ahead and cut and paste. Well, I'll paste that. We already cut it there. Let's go ahead and save this. We just want to do a save. There we go. Oh, what is going on here? Notepad. Yes, we want to create the file. All right, having a little trouble today. It's a late in the day already for me. Okay, um, let's discuss this here first. Uh, we're importing the Java math package there for the big integer class. I'm creating a reference variable bi1 to a new big integer object that contains this value right here, basically one followed by a whole bunch of zeros. Then I'm creating a bi2 reference variable to a new big integer object containing all these twos and a bi5 reference variable to a new big integer object containing the value of just simply the number five. Then we will be invoking some stuff, but let's go ahead and compile this real quick and run it here. Let's clear our screen. Java C compile Java to run this. All right, so the first thing that we're doing right here is we I'm creating a new big integer object reference variable, well, new reference variable here of big integer object type. And you can see I'm doing bi1. And now in order to add something to it, we have to invoke the add method. And as the parameter, we have to pass another big integer object, okay? So adding this plus this gives us the result here, which we'll display to the console. And you can see that's one followed by a whole bunch of twos, okay? Same thing here, bi1.subtract bi2, and our result then is this number right here. And um, if we take bi1 and we multiply that by bi5, right, this number times this number, we end up with this number right here. Okay, um, and if we divide bi1 by 5, basically, right, bi5, we end up with this number right here. Okay, now, um, if I take bi1 and I divide it by a new big integer 3, as we know, this number, 1 followed by a whole bunch of zeros, is not going to come out evenly, right? So, but we aren't going to get an error either. What we are going to get is just a close approximation of it here, right? Three followed by a whole bunch of threes. This would normally be 0.33333 all the way to infinity, but it chose instead to, I guess, round it down to uh, that number there, okay? So that's why I recommend you 
probably don't use the divide method unless you're sure it's going to come out even. You can use divide and remainder, which I'll go over in another tutorial there. So let's just see, um, one of the things that I want to emphasize here is that you cannot, for example, put in a integer value of five, right? You can only pass big integer objects to this. If we try to compile that, we're gonna get a uh, just basic error that doesn't necessarily represent exactly what's going on there, but that's what is going on there, okay? So you always want to pass in a, um, a big integer object for the parameter there. Same thing up here, like let's say for example, if I did uh, bi1 and then I use plus bi2, right? And so let's see if we save this, right? Uh, let's bring this up, let's clear our screen. We try to compile that, right? Bad operand type. So you cannot add two, two big integer objects together using the plus, the minus, or basically any of the uh, mathematical operators that you could you know, run on uh, basically you know, uh, primitive data types there. Uh, the last thing that I want to cover here is that you, uh, let's say for example, we just had the statement bi1 add bi2, okay? This, what do you think the result of that is going to be? Let's just save this here. screen, recompile. And I'm going to change this to bi1 and bi1, right? Okay, so if we just invoke the add method on bi1, will that change the value of this up here? Let's go ahead and save this. Put our screen and there we go. Now we'll go ahead and run it. As you can see, bi1 is still equal to its original value, and that's because it's immutable, right? So invoking the add method actually returns back a the value of it, right? So if we were to take this and put it right here, right, we will actually, it'll return a value to a new big integer object right there, and we will actually get the proper thing displayed in that particular case there, right? No, but this shouldn't say bi1. This should just say, because bi1 does, doesn't, you know, this is just basically a um, new big integer object, right? And what I'm going to do is on the next line down, you guys probably, uh, probably just wasting some time here, basically, but... Uh, bi1 equals and then bi1, right? So just to drive home the point that it, these objects are immutable here and then that'll pretty much do it for this tutorial. Okay, the new big integer object equals that. bi1 remains unchanged because the object that bi1 points to is in fact immutable. So anyway, uh, that really pretty much takes care of this tutorial. I'm going to go and get rid of that, get rid of that, and just leave you guys with some final thoughts. So stay tuned for my next tutorial we'll, uh, where I will discuss the divide and remainder method, two string method, two string with, and I'll just pull this over here, right? Um, divide and remainder, two string, and two string with an int of radix, right? We can do some cool stuff with that, and the compare two methods. So uh, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.